Hi. Today we are going to talk on a very interesting topic and that is translation and organizational development for translators. In fact, this topic was dealt by our professor, Professor S.P. Ganguly, who has been professor for Spanish and Latin American studies at Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. This particular talk was given by him when we had invited him as our distinguished guest and keynote speaker and a panelist during our conference on translation and challenges being faced by translators in India in 2009. He stresses upon the need for organizational development, networking and leveraging strength. So let's understand what he says and gain from his wisdom. Do subscribe to our channel and remain in touch with us. Thank you for listening. You know, I think this, uh, this whole question of uh, how to get this whole thing organized, you know, that's the most important thing. In all our discussions and all our talks, the idea of lack of organization, lack of getting together, lack of, lack of, lack of having an institutional framework, an infrastructure, and, 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 and which you know, in our country we haven't written the history of Indian literature till the middle of the 20th century. So, this is the state of affairs. I mean, what do we expect us to, I mean, to happen in, 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 in translation and interpretation? So, but something has to be done. It's, the other side of the story is that you know this is compensated by individual efforts. You know, we have not talked about the great individual efforts, contributions made by individuals to sustain. After all, most of these conferences. Content services, uh, consecutive interpretation services have been provided by Indians, you know, from, and then it has been done in a fabulous manner. They have accepted very, very, if not vegetable, very moderate, modest conditions of work, and it has been done by Indians. By, so the talent exists, the question is that of organizing. And I believe, you know, the time has come, for example, an association, uh, 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 you know, modeling is. We couldn't have thought of an organization like this uh, 10 years ago, 15 or 20 years ago, uh, having a conference on translation and talking about the translation industry. Now, somebody doing it now is some sign of hope that we can expect this to expand. I am sure people with such initiative like that will probably hope. Be able to overcome all those official capabilities of official weaknesses, like you said, that, that is typical of the way we have functioned uh, in the past. And as far as uh, you know, my response to this is concerned, I could say that from our institution, we are still trying to establish a postgraduate diploma course in interpretation, translation, and We are still trying, but we are not sure for getting the 11th plan or the next plan to be getting. Uh, I suppose that the establishment, you know, uh, I am speaking from point of view of the language that I deal with, which is Spanish. You know, an institution like the Cervantes Institute, Cervantes, which is now, I mean, it's a new institution. It's like the Max Kuhn Institute. Like the British Council, so it's like a new sponsor. You know, it's a new institute which has come up, and it is easier for a new institute to take up new programs. And if there is a demand like this, and this is communicated to the institute, they might be able to, from their very beginning, from their very conception, you know, they might start such a course. I mean, this is just a suggestion. So if there is a demand, if they get such demand, 
he might might have want to add uh, one little thought to all the uh, proceedings uh, of this session. That is, you know, when we are dealing with uh, translation, when we are dealing with two uh, languages, uh, you know, we are dealing with cultures. And from our perspective, dealing with another culture is not a mechanical activity. In our growing up, we dealing with other culture is always has to be taken up as a process of self-transformation. That is when you are dealing with translation, you're trying to negotiate with the expressions of another culture into your culture. So there is already a whole lot of thought process, expressions, existential things of the other culture that filter into your processes. So there is a kind of transformation taking place within you all the time. So, you know, if we as translators, as interpreters, approach this whole idea of translation not as a mechanical activity, not as just a mechanical activity, but as a process by which we keep transforming ourselves, becoming more responsible, becoming better citizens, becoming Aware of so many other things which other cultures have not been aware of in the translation would be the ultimate gain. Would be the ultimate gain for our civilization. I think this is a very, very important thing that we miss while entering into this domain of this translation act. We all practice it, but we are not doing it consciously. But if we do it conscious, that yes, by entering into this domain of translation, we are practicing something which all philosophers have done, which all rishis and gurus have done. But we are doing it in our own way. We are transforming, transforming ourselves. We are both becoming better people. We are becoming more responsible. We are making, getting the best out of the other cultures and trying to compare it with ourselves. Look, this is a part of the whole comparative study you know, that, that enriches us all the time. I always maintain in my class, in my students, that if I if I study uh, 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 if I study Kabi Mirabai and try to translate it into Spanish and try to compare it with, let us say, Spanish saying Santa Teresa, San Juan de la Cruz. Now, why do I do it? I mean, after all, there must be some reason. Only I should do it if I understand San Juan de la Cruz better. Once I have, by understanding, by translating Mirabai or by translating Kabi, if I can understand some Juan de la Cruz better, whenever he or she performs his function as a translator, as an interpreter, does this consciously or unconsciously? Thank you very much.